Hello, I'm Kim Sharkey, Operations Officer with the Florida Division of Emergency Management and State Watch Office. The following is your daily situation report for March 30, 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently a Level 3 or monitoring status. One or more of the nuclear power plants are operating at less than normal capacity. There are no major energy outages reported in the state of Florida. All airports and seaports are open and functioning normally at this time. All major highways in the state are open or will be open within the next 12 hours. There are no health advisories issued for the state of Florida and no confirmed or suspected major attack on any major computer network within the state of Florida. There are no known border security or migrant issues at this time. And now for our weather. Thank you, Kim. High pressure moving into the southeastern U.S. behind this past weekend's cold front will result in dry and seasonal conditions statewide today. Much drier air moving into the state behind the cold front will create an elevated fire danger across much of the state today. Long durations of critically low humidity values are expected, and red flag warnings are in effect for much of north Florida as well as interior and western areas of central and south Florida. The only exception to the dry conditions may be later today and tonight across South Florida. Tonight, high pressure will quickly shift east into the western Atlantic ahead of the next approaching storm system. The resulting southeast wind flow will push the stalled cold front over the Florida Straits northward, and a few showers will be possible mainly after midnight across portions of South Florida. At the coast, moderate onshore winds will produce a moderate risk of rip currents along the western panhandle beaches today. However, inland, as a result of the heavy rainfall over the past weekend, several area rivers and streams are already at flood stage or are forecast to rise above flood stage this week. River flood warnings are in effect for the St. Marks River, Ocalocne River, Apalachicola River, the Chipola River, the Choctahatchee River, Shoal River, Yellow River, the Blackwater River, Escambia River, Perdido River, and Big Coldwater Creek. Moderate flood stage is ongoing for the Blackwater River, Choctahatchee River, and Big Coldwater Creek, and the Shoal River is now above major flood stage. Additional rainfall forecast this week will keep flood conditions possible through early next week as an active weather pattern continues across the southeastern U.S. The next threat for strong storms and heavy rain will come Tuesday night into Wednesday and then again on Thursday night into Friday across North Florida. The Storm Prediction Center has highlighted portions of the Florida Panhandle and a slight risk for severe storms on Tuesday and then across much of North Florida and a risk for severe weather on Thursday. The exact timing and coverage of severe weather remains uncertain at this time, but additional heavy rainfall with each passing system will exacerbate current flooding issues across northwest Florida through the end of the week. For drought conditions, the Keech Barm drought index average for the state of Florida is down to 494 on a scale of 0 to 800, courtesy of abundant rainfall across north and central Florida over the weekend. However, even with the recent rainfall, much of the central and southern Florida peninsula remains very dry. Additional rainfall is expected this week, but the greatest rainfall amounts will be confined to north Florida. When severe weather threatens your area, listen for advisories, watches, and warnings from the National Weather Service on your NOAA weather radio. This is a sure way to know what the upcoming conditions of your area are going to be. That's all we have for you today. Have a great day.